Um, something we're getting asked a lot more about now is fat grafting to the breast. Now, you know we do fat grafting to the butt, fat grafting to the face, fat grafting to all different kinds of things. We can fat graft into traumatic wounds and things like that and improve contour irregularities. But fat grafting to the breast is something that's kind of the hot topic right now on the internet. Why didn't we think of doing this a long time ago? There's an answer to that. The answer is this. There's multiple issues with grafting fat into the breast that make the breast a less hospitable host. So when we're grafting tissue, we've got to have two main characteristics. One, the tissue we're grafting has to be good tissue. Two, the site we're placing it in has to be a hospitable host or a good place to place that tissue. The butt is an excellent place to place tissue. The face is an excellent place to place tissue. The breast is not as good a place to place tissue. Any surgeon who operates on the breast very often knows this because they look at that breast tissue and they can see in the gland itself, the gland is very, very firm. It's non-distensible. It's not going to stretch. I don't care how much you try to stretch a gl breast gland, it's too hard. It doesn't stretch. Likewise, when you inject fat into it, it's not going to take very well because the blood supply is not as good, the tissue is too firm, and there's not the substrate of the architecture there present to support that tissue that you graft in. Muscle is a hospitable host, so a portion of the breast where the pec muscle is can take some fatty tissue, so the area right around the pec muscle works. You can put some fat there, and some of the fatty tissue that's around the breast can also accept some fat, but fat by definition is not necessarily a great host for more fat because fat has less blood flow than other areas of the body like muscle tissue. That is what makes the butt such a good host or other areas like the face a better host because the fat that's in the face has more blood flow than anywhere else on the body. And there are muscles in the face that are not hooked to underlying bone. And therefore those muscles, because they're free floating, like the platysma muscle in the SMAS, that is a good host. So this is the thing. Does fat grafting to the breast work? It does, a little bit. And that's the thing that a patient needs to be really cautioned about. If your surgeon tells you, no problem, we can do this, it's gonna work great, marvelous, wonderful, they're not telling you the truth. A surgeon should be very, very clear with you and try, and try to help you to make a good decision. Part of helping you make a good decision is understanding exactly what your goals are. When a patient comes to me and says, I wanna be a D cup and I'm an A cup, that is not a candidate for fat grafting to the breast. It's not gonna work. Maybe if we did it five or six times, we might be able to get the person there. Maybe, I doubt it, but maybe. But five or six times, it cost you $100,000. This is why we use implants most commonly in breasts because those work well, very quickly, inexpensively compared to doing fat grafting to the breast. So does it work? The answer is yes. Do I do it? The answer is yes, but does it work well? Mm, limitedly. And that's the best thing is to counsel with your plastic surgeon, find a plastic surgeon that tells you the straight scoop and explains all these things to you so you really understand what's going on and what decision you're making to decide if it's the right one for you.